Hello everybody! So I get questions a lot about going to your first Magic tournament, so I thought I'd do a pre-release primer for uh, anybody who has never been to a pre-release or maybe has just gone to one. So number one, how does a pre-release work? Uh, a pre-release is a sealed Magic tournament, which means you're gonna get six booster packs and you're gonna make a deck out of those. You want to make a 40 minimum card deck and approximately the composition of this deck should be 23 spells that come from the booster packs that you open and 17 land cards that you're going to get from your store. You don't have to bring the lands with you, don't worry, you can always borrow them from the store, just make sure you give them back at the end. So what's sideboard? <laughs> Every card that you don't put in your original deck becomes part of your sideboard. When you're in between games, you have a chance to take a look at those cards and bring in cards that you think are going to be particularly good against that opponent. So always take the opportunity to look and see if you have anything there that looks good. So what's a DCI number and do I need one? Yes, you do. So if you already have a DCI number but don't remember it, that's not a problem. The store can look it up for you if you give them your first and last name. If you don't have a DCI, just show up to your pre-release a little bit early so that they sign you up. And then you don't even really have to remember it. The store can always look you up. But if you remember it, the stores will uh, definitely appreciate it. What should I bring to my pre-release? So the most important thing before pre-release is just to make sure that you're actually in the event. So call your store, see if you can pre-register for it. If you can't, make sure that you get there in time so you actually get a spot uh, and you can actually play. Everything else is tangential, you don't really need anything, but some things that are nice to have are a pen and paper so you can write down life totals, and um, dice to potentially keep counters on track, track of counters on creatures. Um, you can also bring something like a playmat and sleeves to protect your cards, so like I said, these are really not necessary, they're just nice to have. So what should I do if I don't know what my cards do? Great question. Read the cards and ask your opponents if it's okay if you read their cards too. Most people aren't gonna mind, and it's, it's a very common practice, and you just want to make sure you actually know what these cards do, because this is a pre-release. People are first playing with these cards now, so not everybody knows. It's perfectly fine to make mistakes. So you just want to make sure that you have a chance to read it and read it once again and ask your friends if you have any questions. You can also ask a judge. So speaking of judges, when should I call a judge? Awesome question. If you ever have the idea of, should I call a judge here? You should call a judge right there. Judges are the glue that holds magic tournaments together. They are amazing. And a lot of people feel uncomfortable calling a judge because it feels like they're almost tattling on their opponent. They're saying like, look, I don't believe what you're saying to me. I'm gonna call a judge to confirm. And that's not the case at all. Calling a judge is always good because a judge is there to give you rules answers. You can't ask a judge questions like, judge, should I attack here? Right, they're not there to give you strategic advice. But they are here to tell you things like, this is how the mechanic works, or are you unsure about this interaction? Well, this is how the interaction is going to resolve. So if you ever have a question, call a judge. They are your allies at the event, and as much as you're having fun with your opponents, your opponents are there to beat you, so you just want to double check with the judges that everything is working out the way you want it to. Lastly, any parting advice for a first pre-releaser? I can't stress this enough, pre-releases are meant to be fun. They're very uh, friendly to newcomers. People are gonna be very willing to help you out if you're not sure about some of the rules. Um, a lot of people will be friends, a lot of people will be very welcoming. You can make a lot of friends at pre-releases too. It's okay if you lose. It's okay if you build a bad seal deck. It's okay, it's a rite of passage to do bad at the first couple of events that you go to. Magic is a hard game. If you enjoyed this, you can check out my YouTube channel where I um, play with a lot more decks, I play limited, sealed occasionally, a lot more constructed, standard, modern. Um, and I also stream live on Twitch, so if you would like to catch that, that's on twitch.tv slash and youtube.com slash See you later, everybody!